My name is Akintunde Desu. I'm an artist. I'm from um, Lagos State, Nigeria. I'm drawn to um, create art by a, a desire to tell a specific story. And this is the story about the, um, the history of my, of my, of my people. Um, I think as an artist, um, what I found out was that a lot of um, art that is being told is being told in a way that is slightly foreign to us. And what I try and do is decolonize the way that I present my art to, um, to give something that is actually very unique. And, um, and in doing so, connect my audience to, um, to the story that I am, I am telling. Because I think it's a, it's, a, it's a story of my people that I'm trying to tell, a visual narrative of the history of my people. My chosen medium is screen printing. I use screen printing because it's a very um, democratic way of working. It involves working with a lot of people. I use screen printing because of the layers that are involved in, in screen printing. Um, to create the art, you, you, you start off with a concept and, um, and, and, and you work through the images, you create the story, you create the layers. It is very intentional in the way that it, it, um, it is it is it is done and this is something that um, my art is my art is very intentional because it's it's about a specific story and a specific message that i'm trying to get across when i set out to create my art um, i i i books are my main the main tools that I use. I, I, I do a lot of research. This current body of work that I'm working on took me about seven years. I've been on it for about um, seven years since the showing of the first piece. And, 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 and it takes a lot of research for me to, because it's historical, it has to be factual. I have to get the story the story right and it's and and because it's of a large group of people it's significant and it's um, substantive so I can't be um, I can't be um, blasé about it I have to be very I, I have to be very exact so that the story will resonate with the viewer and um, and it can be it, it, it can be of use to the people the purpose behind this current series that I'm working on was, um, I like to say, I, I looked everywhere, and this is to paraphrase, I looked everywhere and I could not find um, anything about myself. We, we are an invisible, more or less, um, race. And so, and, and so I went into the books and then I started finding out strains of my people. And I went back to 13,000 years and I tried to draw a line all the way from um, the very first history of, um, of my people that I came about, which was in the caves of um, Iwo Eleru in, Ogun, or in Ondo State in Akure, just outside Akure. And I tried to draw a line from there all the way to um, the very first um, um, recording of a boat that was, um, that was sighted in Ekpe in the lagoon, in the Lagos lagoon, and it was picking up the very, and it was one of the very first um, slave boats to land in, in um, to be recorded. And so I draw a line from the, the caves in Ondo all the way to the slave boat in Epe. And in doing that, I tell the story of my people, and that's the basis of this work. Well, I'm um, inspired by artists such uh, um, like um, Andy Warhol, like um, um, the Surrealist, um, René Magri, um, Dali, um, and, um, and most importantly um, by Bruce Onobrakpeya. He's had the greatest, um, the Nigerian artist Bruce Onobrakpeya, the printmaker, he's had the greatest effect um, on, my, on my art. Because I was trained as a, as a, as a classical artist, you know, I was trained in, in portraiture actually, was my, was my thing until I came across um, um, an illustration um, by Bruce Nabrakbeya of Amos Tutola's uh, books, um, uh, his journey in the, in the forest of demons. And, and the, this illustration 
that Bruce Anna Barquea had done knocked me for six. It was an amazing piece of work. And I thought I really need to understand how to, how to, how to tell my stories in this sort of way. And so I set about and learned how to do screen printing on my own and how to um, tell my stories through this using this medium and for the last 15, 15, 16, 17 years this has been my medium and this has been how I have related to my um, to my audience as an artist. Creative blocks are something that happens to all artists and and for me especially in this work that I was doing I got you know I got creative blocks when 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 they are when they are lacunas in the story you're trying to tell and so I have to go back and, and I read a lot, you know, I just go back and I try and, you know, I read the text that form the basis of the work. And then also there are times when you're trying to create, um, you're trying to, you need to come up with a new, um, almost like an invention, a new way of um, using the tools that you, you know, you use to, to produce your art. Like for the very last bit, um, because when I do my work, it's, um, art is basically um, one-dimensional. It's, it's on a flat piece, or flat surface. But I'm trying to create a three-dimensional pieces. I'm trying to get for the audience to be able to see past the veil that is on the screen and to be able to look inside and be transported. And now on the very last piece that I was doing, because this series of work I did uh, actually based on landscapes. So I wanted them to, um, it's to, to open up when you gaze into them and for you to, 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 to get lost, you know, to look at it as if you're looking at, and, and I did landscapes as if I was standing on a mountain and I was, um, and I was looking north, um, east, um, south and west. And when it came, and the West was the last piece I did. And when it came to do to do the West, I had gone to the, I had gone to um, Epe actually, and I had gone to, and there's this, there's this um, forest in Epe, and it's one of the few primordial um, forests left, and it's right next to the city of Lagos, which is really strange. There are elephants there, and um, and I'd, and it's it's a, a reservation area. And I went there, and when you see a tropical forest, there's nothing as dense as that it is just incredible and um, and I went there to look at this and to be able to bring that feeling that density that impenetrable um, sort of vista that you see when you gaze into a forest now that took me a couple of years in fact I couldn't get um, I got really frustrated and it, it took lockdown actually for me to come up with a technique that was required to create this um, this this feeling well, this next series, the message in this next series is really, um, I, would, I would like people to see exactly where we stood um, 13,000 years ago and where we came through before we had the, um, the internum, that was um, the slave trade. I would like people to go back and to understand the struggle of the black man and to understand our role in global affairs you know the, our gifts to um, um, to the world, and, and and to see us as more than just um, the slave story, which is which is which we seem to get trapped in, and to understand our our modern struggles. Because if you can see our past, then you would know you would know our capabilities. You know, if you could move away from let's say the last 500 years and look at the last 13,000 years, then you would know our capabilities. And for the generation that are coming behind me, I would like them to be able to key into this, to this strength, you know, and, and, and to be able to understand what it means to be a black man in the 21st century.